Jackson, and until a few weeks ago, I was the Archaeological Collections Manager for the state of Massachusetts. I am also a uh, founding member of the Massachusetts Archaeology Education Consortium, which is uh, MACON for short, uh, our statewide archaeology education group. So my important tip uh, is for long-term sustainability of your public education programs, which is, of course, collaboration between organizations. Uh, MACON itself is a collaborative uh, group. Uh, we encompass five different organizations, including the Massachusetts Historical Commission, the Boston City Archaeology Program, the R.S. Peabody Museum of Archaeology, the Museum of Science in Boston, and the Archaeological Institute of America. So this collabor collaboration um, has two essential benefits. First, it allows us to combine our limited time to work on shared projects. Uh, perhaps obvious, it's worth stating, uh, more people can get more work done. And we all often have other components um, that take precedent over public education. And so by combining our efforts, we're able to sort of accomplish these tasks that alone we'd be able to only um, whittle away at. Uh, secondly, this collaboration has allowed us to access resources that we wouldn't have had individually through our own institutions. For example, in my position, I was able to access institutions, museums, school groups, etc., um, and I could promote events through Archaeology Month, which I organized. At the same time, uh, my colleagues, such as the Boston City Archaeology Lab, could facilitate public uh, visits and classroom visits um, at the lab there and easily spread the word of our programs through Facebook. And other groups like the Museum of Science, which is one of our partners, could provide a large venue and really awesome things that I could never provide, like free parking, meal vouchers, um, museum exhibit passes, uh, real incentives for people to come and join our, our events. Formalizing our collaborative relationship has been instrumental for us to accomplish our individual goals, as well as to increase a new broad range of increasingly ambitious group goals. So we've been able to even expand the scope of what we hope to accomplish. So that might seem a little broad for people to take on, oh, I'm not going to start my own state collaboration, but on a smaller scale, collaboration is still effective. Um, and my example here is one of the MACON's goals is to bring archaeology to school students. It's very difficult as an individual archaeologist to allocate time to go to a school and present a program. Um, we rarely have that kind of time. And what's more, this isn't a sustainable idea for a program because it relies on the availability and reliability of a single person. And so all best intentions, you may not be able to actually sustain that program. Lightning will not strike twice. Um, instead, to begin to meet our goal, I have collaborated with the Commonwealth Museum in Boston. The museum already has a structure to offer a one-hour hands-on program to the school children that come from across the state to um, visit their museum. They go on field trips. They actually offer free busing, which is another real incentive to get school groups from across the state. And for its part, the museum could access grant funds to develop programs for this one-hour classroom session, but had no direction for content. So I was able to collaborate with them to create a dynamic presentation about local archaeology for Massachusetts. Once I developed the program, I taught the education program to the museum's interns. It was already within the structure, and now it's the museum interns who enact the program on a regular basis. It's offered daily. Uh, and so this becomes a win-win-win, a triple win. Through collaboration, I'm able to teach archaeology to students. The museum was able to give fresh, free curriculum to encourage new uh, visitorship to their program. And teachers are offered free, quality programming. We all accomplish our individual goals by directly collaborating. And after modeling the program a few times to the museum interns, um, in the last year, we've impacted roughly 1,000 students. So. And that's going to continue on. So now I've left the organization. I'm no longer working directly with the museum, but that program will continue on. So I'd like to end on the note that while these resources may not be explicitly advertised, there was no way I would have known that the museum could access these grant funds to provide the program. Um, it was because of this collaborative relationship that we sought out that we were able to access all of these resources that we knew individually we had and <coughs> would have known we could work together. So I would encourage you all to consider that my tip to collaborate.